And a good Saturday morning, YouTube pipe community. It's early. I'm trying to get out here today and get some stuff done in case my power goes out. We got that second storm coming across now and blizzard-like conditions. High winds gusting over 50 or so. And uh, I have a generator for the house, but I can't use it really out here in the shop because, well, I have two separate uh, breaker boxes. I get a bill from my shop and I get a bill from my house. And I said it before, but in the house, I plug my generator into the pigtail of my dryer and it back feeds through the whole house. While well, here, I don't have nothing to plug that into like that. Uh, 220, my air compressor is 220, but uh, there's no plug. I have it wired directly into my fuse box. So I could plug outlets in, little things here and there, but I'm not gonna mess with it. So hopefully, if you can hear the wind now, it's getting really bad. Got a few things to talk about today. I'm gonna try this new one my friend gifted me, Low Country Guandalo, I'm gonna guess. Guandalosi, Guandalo. I'm gonna say Guandalo. Uh, I believe it had Red and Bright Virginias, Red Virginia Cavendish, Caterini, which I'm not really big on, Dash of Spicy Perique, an exquisite cigar leaf to fashion a blend that evokes the flavors of a full-bodied Nicaraguan cigar. So we'll see about that. Also, really quick, I got a, a gift in the mail this week from a friend that I've known on here since day one, probably almost, way back in the day. We've been friends on YouTube. Uh, Metamorphist is his name on YouTube, his channel Metamorphist. And he's a retired military and he uh, works out in a shop like I do and a lot of other people do, uh, mainly welding and he does a lot of metal fabricating work and uh, scrap junk metal he'll turn into neat pieces of, uh, you know, things that you can use. He does all kind of stuff. Since you gotta take up the hobby of Zippo, since you've taken up the hobby of Zippo, I'd like to send you one of my collection. Gotta have one Harley Zippo, <laughs> at least. Lightly used, can easily be modified if desired. The coasters are, the coasters are stabilized mesquite from a tree in my backyard. Check this out. He made me four coasters from my bar. Check that out. And he put on all of them, he put, check that out. Very cool. Four of them. Look at the ring grain on that. How many years? That's really cool. Look at it. I would definitely put them on my bar when I have a Glen Cairn glass sipping on a finger or two of bourbon. And uh, actually, I was thinking today, because today is, uh, you know, the NFL playoffs start today, two games today and three tomorrow. My wife's working until eight tonight. And I'm thinking today, if you didn't already know, I'm allowed to smoke pipes in my rec room at my bar now, but I'm still not allowed to smoke cigars. I have that one of them rabbit airs. Today, maybe I'll try and sneak a cigar and see if I get away with it and see if she notices. I'll Maybe I'll film that later. Anyway, let's get this cracked and see what we got. Wait for it. Wind is just howling. Now, I really liked Sansa Polcaro that had the uh, spicy Italian florets in it. That was... That smells really good. Uh, it's fairly dry. Let me get a pipe pack and I'll give him a thought yeah, back. Just said, I don't know how long. I'm almost positive I'm gonna lose power today. That's if I don't even get called out to work today as well. Here is the lighter that he had sent me. Very cool. 
I will definitely put a butane pipe insert in that, add that to my collection. I'm sure it's not gonna take me long to fill. I have that 12, 12 step display case that I had bought there over the holidays. I really like it, I keep it on my bar. And I have a backup today in case I don't like <laughs> that blend. From another friend of mine. If I didn't already, if you didn't already see it before, Brian Doran, look at it. Come in and get you some of that. Okay. And I thought since I was showing a gift from a friend who was military his whole life, I thought I would, I had to break out the red, white, and blue. That's for you, Sarge. <laughs> and speaking of that, uh, just out of curiosity, everybody, what's your favorite war movie? Uh, I have so many, I've watched them a hundred times over and over and over again. Uh, just the other day, we watched American Sniper again, and we watched uh, Lone Survivor. I really like uh, Full Metal Jacket, Platoon. Uh, Saving Private Ryan's okay, but it's a long movie. And I really like the old one. I forget, I think it was called Act of Valor or something like that. The one with Michael J. Fox and Sean Penn. That was a really good movie. Uh Leave some comments below what your favorite is. Maybe I had missed out on one or forgot about one that I haven't been able to find for a while. But that was some off the top of my head that I, well, I always liked. So far, it's not bad. Supposed to be, I'm a, I'm a, I was assuming a little Caterini. I can taste it big time. Smooth, easy on the retro hill. I'm almost picking up some liquor, and I never seen any liquor mentioned in the description, a topping of any kind. That's strange. Definitely some earthiness. Uh, like I said, it was fairly dry. Oh, I got a couple comments the past week. Uh, one, uh, if you're looking for a discounted briar pipe, not more, I'm going to do briar this week. I have several briar pipes I'm going to be listing today that I got a good deal on material-wise, and they're going to be discounted a little bit more than what I normally would sell them for. And I brushed this off before. I had a comment just the other day, and then I had one back when I did the review cobblestone the hiking when I did that video I'm sorry you like what you like I raved about how much I like that burly flake and there were jokes going around that several people were saying that since I raved about it so much that it's been sold out ever since well I find that hard to believe that a guy that has a few thousand followers on YouTube uh, made the industry sell out of cobblestone the hiking. I seriously doubt that, but uh, nonetheless, I must not be the only one that was right about that. I mean, it's been out of stock forever, so apparently a lot of people like it, but just the other day, a guy commented saying that he wishes I wouldn't have raved about it so much until he was able to get some. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I 
I haven't looked lately to see if it even is in stock anywhere, but. I have another nice three-day weekend with Martin Luther King Day on Monday if I don't get called out for any emergencies. If you don't watch football, I'm not going to talk a lot about it, but tonight's Kansas City Chiefs game is supposed to be like negative 30, negative 40 with the wind chill. That's going to be a very interesting to watch, especially with a team from the South Miami Dolphins coming to town. <laughs> little bit of advantage to the Chiefs. To me, this one's just okay. I'm almost getting like a malty beer barley taste as well. I thought I'd get more leather and earthiness, but so far I'm not. I'm definitely going to revisit this. I'll put it in my cobs as always. I'm going to let it sit here and dry out all day as well. But 99% of the time when I first experience a tobacco, I'm usually dead on with myself whether or not I like it down the road or not. There's been several occasions like Haunted Bookshop I hated when I first got that. And now I love that. This one kind of reminds me of one of the warped uh, cigar blends. I forget which one it is. Matter of fact, I'm going to have to review the rest of them. I'll have to go back and see which ones I didn't review. I know I did the Haunting and... Uh, oh, I can't remember now. <laughs> Yeah, this is, this is really strange. This is one of the only blends that reminds me of a beer aftertaste. I don't know what it is. I'm getting like some hops, barley. That's very strange. Hope everybody has a great weekend. There is some spiciness there, not enough for me. But would I buy it? Yes, I'd buy it and I'd stock up on some and let it sell her for a few years. Stay tuned. Maybe next video I'm going to gather some things up again and I'm going to send out a package of leftovers that I got laying around. Oh, and I've done this before as well. Let me tell you, it never happened, but uh, I'm going to. <laughs> if, my, if my beloved Dallas Cowboys, I'm a big football fan, if you didn't know, Cowboys, and I love the West Virginia Mountaineers. If the Cowboys would happen to luckily get into the Super Bowl and win it, I will have a huge giveaway contest. I said that years ago, and of course it never happened. But if they get there to celebrate, I will have a huge giveaway package. I'm done rambling. I rambled way too long. Nice pipe. It's really light. Still needs broken in as well.
I have my eye on a couple more Dunhills. But I haven't pulled the trigger yet. I'm done rambling. Talk to you boys and girls later.